Hello friends, welcome to the world of recipe. I am Vaishali and today's recipe is Sago Seed Paratha or Savudana Paratha. This recipe I have learned from my mother. Since our childhood she used to make this recipe for fasting. First, Sago Seeds. These are Sago Seeds. I have soaked them overnight. Now see how soft they are. This is one katori, half katori of uh, roasted ground peanuts and this is uh, one medium sized potato. We need some spices, uh, cumin powder or jeera powder, red chili powder, some salt, some cilantro or coriander leaves and oil. Now we will start with the recipe. Firstly, I will take this sago seeds. And just press them. As they are very well soaked, I can mash them with my hands only. See. Otherwise, you can use of your grinder. Just two, two, three rotations in the grinder, and it is done. Now. We are going to add this ground nut powder to this. Just grate this potato so that no lump should come in this mixture and we should get smooth dough. See, smooth dough is there. Now you can add your spices. Remember one thing while adding spices, you have to spread the spices evenly on the mixture. Cumin powder, red chilli powder, salt, and cilantro. Now let's move, mix the things together to form a dough. Now our dough is ready, so let's start making parathas. I have kept tawa for heating. Add little oil to my rolling surface. And to the rolling pin also. Because this sago seed mixture is very sticky, it can stick to the surface. Now I'm going to take little small ball of this dough. And gently press this and gently roll it. You have to keep on sticking the edges and it's pain to break.
Now the tawa is nice hot. So I'm going to add little oil on this. And then I'm going to transfer this paratha on this. Let it cook nicely from one side first. Put some oil on the upper part also. When it is done from one side, you have to turn it over. We can add more oil to this. Press it gently. Turn it over again. Now this paratha is ready. Check on the other side. Yeah, it's done. Now I'm going to transfer this paratha to my dish. Now these parathas are ready to serve. This can be best served with peanut curry or you can serve it with yogurt also. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you will enjoy this recipe and don't forget to rate my recipe. Thank you.